What is going on people? We are back at it again with another unscripted rambling on video where we are talking about that big banner from the live stream of naval content being open PvP with no corruption system involved and it is a very big thing to talk about. So let's dive into it. But before we get too far, there's still 79.1% of you who are not subscribed to this channel who really like Ashes of Creation content. So you should subscribe because this channel is all about Ashes of Creation content. So since the dawn of time, and by the dawn of time, I mean 2017 when Ashes of Creation was initially thought of, there was this thing called the corruption system where anywhere in the world that you go, this thing would follow you, preventing you from just relentlessly ganking newbies in the world and killing people just because they stole your ore or whatever. It was a thing that I honestly, I like the way they approached it. It prevents unnecessary open world PVP, but still enables players to have fun and every once in a while go out and kill each other. In the latest live stream, Intrepid announced that when you are in the open ocean of Vera, which is 750 square kilometers, it's more than half the map, there will be no corruption system involved. You will be what is called a combatant, meaning you can go and kill whoever you want without having to fear the corruption status. This is absolutely huge because it changes the way that Intrepid has talked about the game since it started coming out. And it gives players now this massive PVP zone where they can go out and freely fight each other. It's almost like the wilderness of RuneScape in a sense, but you know, not full gear drop. There is a lot of like mixed feeling about this. I think the majority of people will enjoy this because because, you know, Ashes of Creation is a PvP game at heart anyways. There is PvE content to do, but I think if you're playing Ashes of Creation, you're not afraid to get your hands dirty in some PvP once in a while. But this doesn't mean that you're just going to be able to run up to people, cast spells, and kill them. Because you're when you're on the open ocean, you're going to be on a ship for the majority of the time. There is underwater content and various boss fights and things like that. But you're still on your player ship. Whether that means you're solo or you have a full crew behind you, it allows for a lot more dynamic gameplay and unexpected gameplay. Because all of a sudden, there are now pirates on the sea. Caravans can go out onto the sea and you could kill them. A guild could be crossing the sea with a ship loaded filled with goods that they're burning to another node and you could attack that. You could just attack a solo ship out there fishing minding his own business and steal his fish because every time you die you do drop a percentage of your raw resources. And I think this is great the way Intrepid is doing it. There's still the corruption system still applies on land. So you're not going to go to a starting zone and start ganking a newbie. I mean you could but you're going to get corrupted and then there's going to be bounty on you. You're going to gear drop and lose all your stuff and all of that. So you might not want to unless that's just how you want to play the game but a new player is not going to have a ship you know you're not going to just venture out onto the sea as a newbie and start doing naval content right off the bat because it just doesn't work that way you got to work your way up you got to get that boat first nodes need harbors because you need to have a harbor to unload a boat into the ocean and there's a whole lots of things tying around it so the people who are going to be on the ocean are going to be semi-experienced players there's not going to be a lot of fresh newbies out there so you're not going to accidentally want wander out into the ocean to get ganked not knowing it's open PvP. There's also UI elements surrounding this that Steven talked about, so you will very clearly know you're about to go into open waters and be potentially fighting for your life. Intrepid seems to have a much larger focus on naval content than they have in the past, as the whole world map was changed to really benefit naval content. And I think this is going to be a much bigger feature than we originally thought as well, especially if it's more than half the map and now players can go out in PvP all they want. You could stay on the ocean if you wanted. You could just be a pirate out there roaming the seas, taking people out and stealing their goods. It adds a whole new dynamic to playing and perhaps it could even add a whole new dynamic to progression. Because if they are allowing this, it wouldn't surprise me if there's more supporting features like pirating and skill trees that you could advance in that aspect. Because there are ship trees that you can change up your ship and really benefit the type of player you want to be on the ship. Honestly, I probably enjoyed a lot more than a lot of people because if you watch my early days of this channel, it was a sea of thieves channel and I like pirating. Not saying I'm going to go out and gank everybody on the ocean because I'll probably get my ass handed to me, but yeah. This also opens up the possibility for more intense raid bosses at sea because there are naval bosses at sea that you and your guilds can go out and fight. But now there could potentially be other players that try to ruin that as they attack your ship while you're attacking a boss, perhaps making you want to prepare in a different way than you would before because now there's no worrying about corruption like I've said. You can just go out there, you can gather up your friends and you can see a small party or a small ship about to take out this boss and you're like, you know what, we're going to ruin that because we're pirates, we want to just steal their goods instead. 
The only thing this might do though is deter solo or small group players from going out on the open ocean and crossing the seas and going to the other continents and fully being able to experience the world. But again, could also add for another way to play. Maybe you hire a guild to escort you across the ocean so you don't get killed. You wanna check out that other continent. You wanna go over to Illyrium and see what's happening and see what kind of nodes there are and all of that because you're bored of the continent you are on. So it probably won't be just for the pure solo player. But it's, again, it depends on your player style, and I could see a lot of solo players avoiding this area, which is unfortunate when you want to go out there and fish and things like that and do that solo content. So you're gonna have to be real careful when you're jumping out onto a ship. This also definitely enhances the risk versus reward scenario that Ashes of Creation is built behind. Because now there is more risk going out on the ocean, probably meaning there's gonna be more reward out there as well. Intrepid could really balance this by making the ocean bosses much more rewarding when it comes to loot, or the ocean resources much more rewarding when it comes to crafting or things like that making your adventures out onto the ocean much more rewarding compared to the new risk of other players that they have now announced again we're gonna have to wait until alpha testing to see how this really plays out like everything with ashes and hopefully when it does it's really exciting it sounds really exciting to me and i hope it's done well so that it provides good gameplay loops and doesn't become a place that you just want to avoid when more than half of your map is the ocean you don't want players to avoid it you still want them to to be able to go out and explore and do all the fun things that are out on the open seas. Otherwise, you are now excluding a large part of your population who isn't gonna wanna go out there and get ganged. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this big decision from Intrepid on open PVP on the open seas. Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums or buy some cosmetic packs or, you know, just hang out and wait for Vera to finally open up to you. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.